Hey guys, welcome back to Octoplay's Dark Souls. Last time, we uh, we uh, kind of got our faces handed to us by an evangelist, and we were also very, very close to a shortcut, which I should have just got, but, you know, I'm dumb. So, let me just make sure my phone is not going to go off, let me put it over here. And let's not get killed by Mr. Giant Man. Uh, basically, uh, what I hope to accomplish this episode... Oh, please. Uh, I hope to... Get that shortcut. I hope to... We died right up there. I hope to... Fight a boss. Actually. Believe it or not. And I hope to kill the boss. And then we don't have to use his greatsword anymore. And we can go back to... Curved weapons? Uh, which one of you is the... Alright, I thought... How does that even work? Makes no sense. I think I made a comment on that last time. Do I not have a, a slam? I thought I had a... Huh. Alright. Th for whatever reason, I thought my R1 was a... Like a vertical slice. Like that. So, you're gonna have to give me... A little minute to, to warm up. I haven't played Dark Souls in a bit. Hello. Hello, friend. Ugh. 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 Oop. So, yeah, I, it's actually been, like, a little over a week since I got to record. Just the work's been getting a little crazy. Ouch. So I really haven't been able to find time to record Dark Souls. Don't heal. Uh, Dark Souls specifically. I've still been streaming and everything, but, uh, you know, stop. Just stop. So, I'm hoping to get, like, five or six episodes done. Oh, so lucky. I hate, I hate everything. I queued the action to roll, and then I died. Because I queued it up. Alright, so this is what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna rush back. I'm not gonna fight that guy. I'm just gonna go by that guy. I'm gonna run to the shortcut. It's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't really... Psst, I don't really like the Cathedral of the Deep. I kind of think it's not a great area. But that's just my opinion. I know more people that like it than people that don't. But overall, I'm not a huge fan of the Cathedral of the Deep... Or the boss of this area either. Uh, and you will see very soon why I decided to use um, this greatsword for them. Is this classified as an ultra greatsword? It sure is. It is a great sword. Um, so you'll, you'll see why. You know what? I think I'm actually going to be a little cheeky. I'm just going to do that. As long as I don't get... Just, uh, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Let's just uh, let's talk about the, the Faram Gauntlets. Did you know it was uh, named after a god of war? Did you, uh... Did you know the Lucerne was a thing? It's a pole arm. Anyway! Let's do this for real this time. Like I said, haven't played Dark Souls in a bit. So, uh... Bear with me. I think... I'm just going to take it the safe way. Which is the long way. But I'm gonna take the safe way, and I'm uh, I'm just not gonna die. See, because the alternate, you know what? I'm actually, I'm not doing the safe way. Screw the safe way. The alt path is to get right underneath this giant. I'm just gonna kill him. Did I kick, or did my is my controller just not? I, I tried to do a third attack there. Maybe my controller's freaking out. Uh, I actually just lost. I didn't lose, but like, I basically uh, had a controller break on me. It didn't break as much as like the. It's well, okay. Let's. I'm just trying not try to sugarcoat it. It's it's pretty broken. It's just uh, 
you know, it's the controller that my friends are going to get when they come over to play. Because uh, I'm first player. Um, the bumpers kind of got, like, stuck. It fell off of my table. Is it dead yet? Jeez. And the bumper just kind of got locked down in place. So it's going to be one of those things where I'm either going to have to open it up and try to fix it. Or just not care because I have three other controllers. And just don't use that controller anymore. Which, because I'm lazy, that's most likely what I'm going to do. How are you not dead yet? How? Why am I missing every time? That's the better question. Okay, here we go. Boom. This will kill them. Never mind. This took a lot longer than... Well, he's dead now. That took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. I am sorry. Alright, he dropped a thing. Huh. Not worth it. Ugh. I don't remember what's over here. Okay. I'm just gonna rush to the checkpoint now. Not the checkpoint, but the shortcut. And then, I think right after that, I'm gonna rush the boss. Because why not? I don't really want anything to do with... The Cathedral of the Deep after this. Um, I might show off one more thing to do with the Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, as soon as I open the shortcut over here. Ooh, boy. Just don't die. Estus if you need to. Estus if you need to. Um, do I have any... I do have an Undead Bone Shard. I should go back to Firelink... Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that because that is uh, cautious and boring, and I've already spent enough time this episode in loading screens. Am I right? <coughs> Excuse me. So, something I wanted to talk about this episode specifically is what is the one characteristic in a video game, if there is one for you guys, one characteristic in a video game that will instantly make you buy that video game. It's like, you know, if it's... It could be a turn-based battle system. It could be a really good story. Like, something would suffer. Like, what's the trade-off? Like, if it was something like, I don't know, um, has turn-based turn combat, uh, would the caveat be, like, it has to be first-person, like Earthbound or Undertale? Or it has to be the normal kind of turn-based. Or kind of like a hybrid with ATB. Like, do you consider ATB, that's the active time battle of something like Final Fantasy VII, do you consider that turn-based still? And, you know, I, I want to know what if you guys have, like, one thing that will make you buy a video game. I don't think I actually have one. So, this is not, I guess, not a great question for me to be asking, but... There's, there's not just one, like, magical thing that will make me buy a video game. I used to have a few. Um, I used to, like, one, one of the, the requirements for me to buy a game used to be, like, is it made by Infinity Ward or Treyarch, the guys that make Call of Duty? Uh, if it is and it's not Call of Duty, I'm still buying it. That's why I got, like, 007 Quantum of Solace. And stuff like that, which actually was, I think, a pretty good game for being a Bond game. You know, they haven't had the best track record. Uh, they've had great ones and awful ones. Ugh. Like, a lot of people are like, Goldeneye, man. Goldeneye on the N64. Best video game of all time. And I'm like, dude, when was the last time you played Goldeneye? Because, trust me, I've played Goldeneye semi-recently. Boy, that game did not hold up. That's no Super Mario 64, that's for sure. Ugh, that game. Or, or Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers still plays really well. The original. Um, but, like, GoldenEye runs at, like, five frames a second whenever anything happens in multiplayer. It's not great. For the time. That's what I'm talking about. For the time, fantastic. This is what I was going to show you, by the way. This thing right here. Not, not specifically this Slugman. But we got the red side and soapstone from him, so if we want to do some invasions, we still have to do those. Um, that'll be fun. 
Now let's just open up this door here. And we shall meet... Oh. Right, I have maggots on me. And we shall meet... Did that do no damage to me? Because I was... Because I was opening the door? That's cool. Let's go ahead and light this bonfire. We shall meet... Who is it? It is... Rosaria. Let's join the Covenant. It doesn't actually join the Covenant. It just gives you the fingers. Um, and now, from Rosaria, you can alternate your appearance or reallocate attributes. So if we want to respec into something else... We now can do that for the cost of a pale tongue. And I think I have one of them, and I know where another one is. Do I have a pale tongue? I don't. I know where two pale tongues are. So, if you guys want me to play a different class or anything like that, let me know in the comments. And I'll go ahead and switch it up. Now, at this point, I kind of just want to... Get back... Oh, actually, no, yeah, this this, this kind of leads over to the boss, thankfully. Now, uh, here's another thing that uh, I'm not going to show you because it's I'm not going to be doing uh, Siegmeier's side quest. But if you were doing Siegmeier's side quest, after you open up all the shortcuts here and open the front door, um, Siegmeier would be in a well right outside that bonfire we've been resting at. Not the one in the bedchambers, uh, but the previous... Uh, bonfire we were resting at and if you come up here he's like i was pushed into the well and someone took all my armor if you come up here there's actually uh, a dude wearing uh sigmire's armor pretending to be him saying like i just oh I thought that came up um like, i just is crazy i you know what i'll just show you because i have to go back down anyway so why not Let's just go. Oh, man. Let's just go ahead and not die. Oh, jeez. And I'll just, uh... Before rushing to the boss, I'll just go over there really quick and show you what I was talking about. Because I think it's pretty funny. Especially if you've played... Oh, you just jumped down! You're so cool! I, uh, I can't... I can't compete with your coolness. Um... But yeah, it's just, uh, it's, I really think it's funny. I, I like, uh, I like the sense of humor. Like, it's weird that Dark Souls has, like, a great sense of humor, considering how, you know, just like, Oh, dreary, it's so dreary, everything sucks. Doc, 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 son of the doc. That was a Dark Souls 2 thing. It's just a guy that was like, the dark and the dark, and the, like, embrace the dark, the dark, dark. Dark to dark to dark. Ugh. So, if we go here. Never mind. Apparently it's not going to work. Probably because I didn't do another side quest thingy with him. I don't quite remember. Anyway, there's a dude up, uh, up, like, where we were by that bridge, uh, in Siegmeier's armor, and that's Patches. And if you've played Dark Souls 1 or Bloodborne, or Demon Souls, you will know Patches. Um, and he's kind of a, kind of a jerk. He tries to kill you, uh, not directly, he tries to indirectly kill you. Um, by, like, kicking you off of things, and then he goes and, like, steals the trinkets off your corpse. That's his deal, because he's a jerk. Um, and his name is actually Trusty Patches, which is great, because he's not trust trusty at all. It's the joke. Get it, guys? Do you get it? Anyway, uh, he's in this game. I was really happy that he was in this game. We'll be able to actually meet him at some point, uh, outside of, of Sigmeier's armor, which is, which is great. So, let's just go ahead and rush up here. And I'll show you why this boss is... Why I, I don't like this boss. Um, I really like the boss the first couple times I fought them. And I think they actually have a design flaw. And you will see. And that's right, I did say they, because this is the Deacons of the Deep. And really cool gimmick boss fight... First, uh, first couple times you do it, and when I say gimmick, I, I don't, I don't necessarily mean a gimmick's a bad thing. I just want everyone to know that they also have very good music. Um, actually, there was something I forgot to do. I'm sorry if you guys really like the music. I really need to turn it down in editing. It's, it's given me a lot of, a lot of trouble. So there we go. 
So, oh, the audio might sound weird for this episode now. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be fine. But, basically, you have to kill the deacon that has the red light in him. Ouch. And, now, it, it may just seem, like, real easy at this point. And, this, this is actually the design flaw. If you have any weapon besides a sword with a cleave... So, if, if you have, like, a, a short club or a dagger or a short sword of any kind, this fight is just the worst. Because you can't hit the guys, because they just keep hitting you back like this, and then they'll go ahead and they'll heal the main, like, this guy's now, like, Pope of the Deep at this point, and he'll just kind of... Now, it's, it's weird for him to actually be hanging out back here. I must have just knocked him out fast enough, but... But see, like, everyone just tries to hit you, and you're just not hitting them, and you don't have the poise, because poise doesn't work in this game like it should. Um, and it's just, because it doesn't work properly, you can't tank any hits unless you have a greatsword. So you're just going to get interrupted all the time, unless you have a greatsword like I do right now. And the first time I fought uh, this boss, I actually had the best weapon for fighting him, in my opinion, which is, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the sword that the Undead Legion uses. Because it has, like, a sick parkour move that, uh... Well, that's the Deacons of the Deep right there. Easy boss when you have the weapon for it, and a, just a horrible, atrocious, long fight if you don't have the weapon for it. Um... But yeah, like, if, if you have anything that's too short, you're just not going to be hitting, hitting the proper guy. And it's really boring and annoying. But now, we get... The Pope outfit. Don't believe me? That's like ring. Don't believe me? It's the Pope hat. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back to this. I like this better. Okay, back to Firelink Shrine. I'm gonna level up and do stuff there. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.